From deep in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada, it's the Best of the Outdoors podcast. Brought to you by Texas Fish and Game Magazine, the voice of the Texas Outdoor Nation. I'm your humble host, Dustin Vaughn Warnke, the Outdoor Success Guy. Back with another podcast. Man, am I excited to be back with you guys. I am overlooking the Las Vegas Strip right now in my hotel room. Just finished an awesome day on the SHOT Show floor and wanted to kind of get with you with some, uh, you the listener, with some kind of, um, you know, uh, observations from the day, some different innovative things that are into shooting, hunting, outdoors, camping, uh, just, just the outdoor lifestyle that we talk about on the show all the time. And I'm overlooking the link right now, which is a giant Ferris wheel and the Bally sign. And uh, it's really pretty city, but man, there's no place like home. There's no place like Texas. Um, but this is just a lot of fun to be able to come out here and do this once a year and uh, bring this coverage to you. It's late at night in uh, Las Vegas right now in uh, my hotel room. I am uh, going to be maybe making no sense at certain times because I'm going to be kind of delirious. And it's just me. Uh, sleep deprived Dustin as I normally do these podcasts. Uh, Chester Moore did a Facebook Live today and he said, Dustin Von Warnke, the guy that has the same work ethic as James Brown. <laughs> you know, James Brown work ethic. So I guess that's true because I sell all day and I podcast all night, I guess, in a way. Um, but I really enjoy bringing this to you through the medium of podcasting and just having the opportunity to visit with you. I'm by myself tonight. Chester wanted to go to bed early. Um, I, I respect that for sure because we, we have long days on the show floor here when we do this uh, meetings and uh, obviously, I sell advertising for Texas Fishing Games, sell advertising for this podcast, sell advertising for the magazine, for the website, that kind of stuff. So that's one of my main gigs here. And then I also write for the magazine and do the, the editorial um, uh, hotspots for, for that kind of stuff. So anyway, all kinds of neat things going on there. And I just wanted to share with you some observations that I had observed today and um, just some really great, neat opportunities to, to visit with some of these companies that have some great things. And the first one that came up on my list was Alps, A-L-P-S. Outdoors, O U T D O O R Z, outdoors with a Z. Okay, Alps Outdoors, and they make a wide variety of backpacks and hunting packs for the outdoorsmen with a really, really high quality uh, weather resistant uh, material. And I just got one of their products. I'm doing a write up right now for fishgame.com for our blog. And as soon as I get that done, I will send that over to uh, to, to Chester to to um, to put up on the blog. And uh, I'll put a note from that in our uh, in my social media. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, Dustin'sProjects.com, any place like that, you'll see the article. But uh, I got the Alps, I believe, the Commander series, um, and and it's really it's uh, extreme. Uh, series, I think Commander is the model that I've got. I'm not sure exactly, but I, I just I, I, overall looking at their backpacks, really high quality stuff. Um, they really think of the outdoorsman in mind. They don't really think so much tactical like a lot of backpack companies do. They don't think so much about the, you know, the 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 concepts that you have to you know bug out bags and that kind of stuff. This is more for the average outdoorsman that's going out to hunt for a day. Uh, maybe going out to the wilderness for a camping trip, going out for a hike, so on and so forth. That's what they make their backpacks about, and they're really cool stuff. Uh, Darren Jones was there from Silencer Co., and he's uh, a guy that I've known for the last couple of years since I've been in advertising, and uh, they are doing a series that they're partnering with Alps on, with Silencer Co. is called Hunted. And um, it's really uh, really a neat um, neat opportunity. It's a short film series called um, um I believe it's called Hunted, uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a really neat um, video series, and it's kind of a neat um, idea, and forgive the sirens in the background that kind of distracted me, but uh, basically one thing Darren was talking about that he enjoyed about Alps Backpacks is they have a, a turkey hunting and a predator hunting backpack that have a seat built into the bottom of them, so you can sit down just about any place, call on turkeys, call on predators, whatever, uh, call them into your area, to your shooting range. And um, they have a, a, a pack on each side, one's for shotgun shells and the other side's for rifle bullets. So you've got options there to be able to take those kind of, um, those kind of things there, you know, those kind of options that you have to uh, throw, you know, 
throw your ammo in, 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 in two different areas. If you're shotgunning for turkeys, if you're uh, rifle hunting for coyotes, whatever the case may be, there's some good opportunities there. And, um, you know, it's just really neat stuff. I thought overall it was just a really cool uh, wide variety of different packs that they have, medium size. I think the one that I have is a medium size pack. They have larger packs. They have smaller packs. They have a turkey hunting um, vest kind of deal where you put your slate call or your box call in. Uh, they've got a, a kind of a bino area for your binoculars or your calls or whatever, kind of a chest rig that you can wear for turkey hunting and you can travel kind of light without having to pack a big backpack along. So a lot of different options there. So Alps Outdoors, Joe, check them out. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link on my, the Amazon affiliate link to my, uh, uh, to my Amazon page on uh, the review once I get it written, and I'll tell you guys about that on the podcast once I get it done. But it's a really cool backpack. I really like it. So moving right along, um, Holo Sun visited them. Visited with one of their ad agencies today. Um, I know the guys over there, Lewis Craig and uh, our friend uh, Craig Cook is how I met Holo Sun uh, through LinkedIn one time. And then uh, Luis Chirito, and just really, really good guys overall. What they have is a red dot or laser or magnified red dot or, you know, wide variety of different optics like that that are mainly red dot reflex, um, you know, holographic style sights. Uh, that are basically, you know, great for the outdoorsman. Uh, if you're going to put them in any kind of tactical situation, such as a pistol, such as a rifle, such as a shotgun, I mean, they're really nice, compact, uh, but very effective um, sighting systems. And they have a long battery runtime. They also have laser and flashlight combos. They have infrared lasers. I mean, all kinds of different things like that. And the nice thing about Holo Sun is the price point is really, really affordable. Um, the way that they're made, the way they're manufactured, the way that they're brought to market, the SKUs, I just mean the amount of products they have is absolutely overwhelming. I mean, it's, it's not almost too much to look at, but it's enough where you have enough selection so you're not binded down to uh, just one particular style of red dot or one particular style of micro sight or whatever you're trying to do with a, with a sighting system uh, on, your, on your weapon. It's some really cool stuff there. So uh, they had all kinds of different rigs. Uh, the way that they had that all set up, they had rigs for... Um, you know, red dot laser flashlight combos. They had a combo that's actually a red dot laser and a flashlight all in one, or they have them set up on two separate different different devices. Um, you know, and they had them all set up on AR-15 dummies. Uh, you know, without the barrels and the and the receivers and everything like that. They're just kind of kind of things that you could hold up and shine at the ceiling and look at. And I was really impressed. I've been impressed with this company for the last couple of years. Hopefully, they will run some advertising with us in the future. Um, but uh, and we can bring some more coverage about uh, Holo Sun, and maybe they'll sponsor a podcast. Who knows? Um, but basically, you know, just really fantastic um, a company that's that's doing some really innovative things in the industry as far as sighting systems go, red dots, lasers, uh, those kind of things. Especially, they're looking at Texas Fishing Game because of the hogs. Uh, we can you, you, we can hunt hogs with lasers. We can hunt hogs with red dots. Nobody really cares. Okay, exotics is the same deal. You know, that's another big deal. In Texas, but uh, and obviously you can hunt deer and uh, you know other game species, turkey and that kind of stuff with a red dot, just not with a laser. And um, so there's some some definite definite situations there where you can grind uh, grind out a lot of really cool new products for your guns, no matter how you're going to outfit them. So anyway, just some ideas there. Uh, third place I visited, third meeting I had today with Buck Knives. Uh, wrote some notes down here. They have the pursuit hunting line which is basically a um uh fixed blade i believe no maybe it's a folder i'm not sure exactly but basically it's a um it's a, a hunting line that's basically has got all kinds of different uh, i believe it's their fixed blade and then the other line that they have i hope i can read my own writing the flipper they have is the sprint pro and the prince the sprint select the sprint pro and the sprint select those are um uh flipper knives they have auto knives. They have their own, like auto opener knives uh, that they kind of spring assist open. Uh, they have their own in house uh, Cerakote system now where they can Cerakote knives, uh, which obviously puts a durable coat. I've got a couple of guns that are Cerakoted that I had my friend Cody Weiser uh, from W Gear do before he got into W Gear. Um, and Cerakote's just a, a really a durable finish um, to put on any kind of weapon uh, of any kind or any kind of, you know, any kind of metal at all, really. 
Um, basically, uh, they do their own in-house zero coding, which is really cool. Um, they have their own facility to do that. But the one thing that impressed me about the Pursuit uh, hunting line and the the pocket knives, the the just wide variety. I mean, I I, I still hunt with a uh, Ergo Hunter, which is one of their uh, earlier knives that came out with a few years ago. That basically is just a fixed blade with a gut hook, uh, fixed blade uh, skinning knife, and uh, that that thing served me well for many many years. Obviously, the first buck knife I got. Like a lot of you guys that have, that collect buck knives, uh, the buck knife 110. They now have an auto uh, auto assist buck knife 110. Um, that's just a fantastic knife, and and they also have uh, this pursuit line that they've come out with, it, which has uh, the gut hook. It has just a regular straight blade, or uh, it, it, they come in a different bunch of different configurations. And I'm not doing it justice by telling you because I'm not interviewing Chris Brooks like I did today uh, about. Um, uh, this product line, but it's really really cool stuff to check out the pursuit line uh, hunting line and the uh, Spirit pro and spirit select hunting line uh, If you're looking for a folder a straight uh, fixed blade. I mean whatever the case may be uh, They've got a knife for you. I mean buck knives is legendary. Obviously, they've got the heritage I met Chuck buck back in 2012. He died shortly after I met him, um, you know, he was he was up in years anyway, but that whole family of buck knives is just a tradition of buck knives um there's even a knife that's going to be given to me soon that chuck buck had signed uh for mac and prowler which is the tv show that got me into the media business um and just really just the heritage and legacy i mean that's one of the first knives i ever owned i mean that that's just it means so much to me in fact the buck knife 110 that i have at home um I, I got as a wedding gift for, not for my wedding, but as a groomsman gift, I should say, for my friend Gene Howard's, or not Gene Howard, Gene Johnson's wedding uh, in, in Texas Lutheran University right after we were roommates together. We graduated Texas Lutheran, and uh, I attended his wedding as a groomsman, and he gave me that as engraved with DVW, my initials. And uh, it's still one of my favorite knives, man. I, I keep it polished. I keep it nice and shiny. I've skinned a lot of deer with them. I've gutted a lot of deer with them. I mean, it's just a great knife overall. The Buck Knife 110 is hard to beat. So, anyway, uh, some thoughts there. Uh, next one I wanted to bring up, and this is kind of an interesting one, Safe Shoot. These guys have been getting this product off the ground for the last couple of years. Seeing them from when the time they contacted us to advertise with us at Texas Fishing Game and when they actually went through and did the whole... Um, uh, to product testing. I, I've seen this whole thing go from start to finish and they're getting ready to ship product I believe the 15th of February and maybe do some advertising with us and more on that later Because um, that's what pays the bills here as you know um, So uh, but but safe shoot has got a really cool friendly anti-friendly fire system that basically notifies you as the shooter not to aim your gun down range because there could be a dog, there could be a human, there could be some kind of inanimate, inanimate object that you uh, can be coming into contact with with your firearm. And what this does is prevents the shooter from making a shot that could endanger somebody. And the safety factor of this, this is Israeli designed by some Israeli uh, contractors, and uh, th this is military proven technology that has been, you know, uh, expertly designed. And I met with one of the head guys over there today um, and just really had a great opportunity to converse with him. Just really had a great uh, time to talk to him and um, and just, 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 you know, cover the product, what it does, all that other stuff with a little jaw out of it, I know. And um it's just about keeping you safe in the outdoors and that's something that's a paramount you know thing for me as much as i talk about the outdoors i want people to be safe and smart and make good choices and a lot of times especially in texas when you you've got dogs downrange you've got people downrange you've got all kinds of different situations that can be uh hazardous um having a system like this in place or having actually two systems work even better together um in place that can that can help you um, signify any danger issues, any, um, you know, shooting down range where you're not supposed to, uh, that kind of stuff, um, and, or, or making a bad shot on something that could endanger other wildlife, um, other, uh, you know, not really wildlife, but your, your domestic dogs or your cats or, or your, whatever you've got down range that you, that are wearing the gear, um, the, the safe shoot has, uh, along with a safe shoot mounted device on your gun, um, it's just a great idea. I mean, it's something I think it's really been needing to be developed. And it's something that I think is really a good idea to, um, to help, 
you know, the, uh, the end consumer, you know, be safe, be safer outdoors, know when not to shoot, know when to shoot, um, you know, and just have that whole conceptualized thing. So stay tuned to fishgame.com's Facebook page, Texas Fishing Games Facebook page, because we're going to do a Facebook live from there this week. If it's already happened, you can watch it, the replay of it. Um, but Chester's going to do a live tomorrow and I don't know when this podcast is going to make it out with the day being the way that it is and the evening being the way that it is. But, um, anyway, just some ideas for you to consider, um, um, you know, uh, safe shoot as a uh, as a possible uh, gift for the loved one in your life that handles firearms for yourself, for your family. Um, just a really smart idea to buy something like this, and this should be shipping again middle of February, middle of next month. So um, just excited to see something like that come to fruition and go into production because I've been following their journey for a while. Next up, Sentry LTP Live to Protect and Scope Coat and Hex Mag. All these companies rolled up into one, and I brought my phone with me today so I can remember some of the things that I um, that I have seen over there. And one of the things that caught my eye, well, there are a couple of things that caught my eye. Number one, I met the Hulk today, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Lou Ferrigno got his autograph from my son Jackson Warnke and um, really had a lot of fun hanging out with him. Um, but got to meet him. He was signing at the Brunel's booth, um, and I got to hang out with him. But back to Sentry um, and Scope Coat. Uh, I've used Scope Coats on my optics for years. If you follow any of my podcast or video or article work or anything like that, you will know that that's one of the things that I'm really big about for Scope Coat is putting a you know a protective coating around all of my scopes, whether they're cheap scopes or expensive scopes, just protecting them from dust, dirt, debris, um, water, those kind of things that you encounter when we're out in the outdoors, especially out in the elements that are, that are harsh, um, having a good scope, you know, cover uh, that's made of a nice, uh, you know, elastic material that can just, you know, kind of fit it, form fit it really well, and also uh, easily stretch on and stretch off of the scope uh, is really just a, a great idea. Uh, my sight mark scope that I have already came with a scope cover, but all of my other uh, rifles have scope coats on them, just about without uh, without you know exception. I think I got one that I need to order a new one for, but uh, I've really enjoyed uh, their products. I used to work with Scope Coat when Devtron owned them, and now Hexmag and Sentry owns them. And Sentry also has a backpack line and a uh, duffel bag line of, of different things. I mean, they've got a wide variety of different uh, backpacks and their backpacks are a little bit more expensive, but they're weather resistant. Uh, they're made with a really nice material and uh, they've got some just really great ideas going on there. And one of the things that caught my eye that Sentry puts out is called Tough Cloth and they make a original Tough Cloth, T-U-F-C-O-L-T-H, Tough Cloth, Tough with one F. Um, they make a original version of it and they make a marine tough cloth. And the reason why this is important to our Texas Fish and Game family is many of you guys that hunt and shoot and, and enjoy the outdoors like that also fish and deal with your equipment and that kind of stuff, getting exposed to the elements, to salt water. I know a lot of you guys listen to this fish salt water. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that uh, this is a, basically a, a, a dry, they call it a CDLP, a dry uh, so they call it a uh, cleaner, dry lubricant, and protectant. Uh, so CDLP, I believe is the way it said. And basically what you do is it goes on wet, you wipe this on a, as a film, and then it dries and it leaves this film of protective coating over anything to prevent rust. Okay, And that's vitally important for your gear in the marine world where the harshest conditions are with water and the harshest conditions are you know your metal contacting water contacting salt water contacting the elements like that uh having something like this is so important it's so important to at least consider that that's something that you can have um because you know you you want to keep your gear up you want to keep your gear maintained and this is an idea you can do that with your weapons you can do this with your um with your uh you know, with any of your stuff, really, with your with your rods and reels, your tackle boxes, on you know anything that's metal, um, you know anything that is exposed to the elements, this stuff will actually do a good job of uh, of keeping that um, keeping those things dry and keeping them protected and keeping them from the elements uh, from the elements ruining them, if you will. So they have tough cloth, they have the tough glide, which is the kind of system they have, and this lubricant goes on, like I say, it forms, it's, it's a dry lubricant, but it goes on in like a film, and then it dries, and then it becomes protected that way. 
Um, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff yet, but that's what they told me. They also have the Century Gear Care Kit, which has uh, some Gear Care stuff in it. They also have, you know, for taking care of your your, your guns and um, taking care of all your hunting gear and those kind of things that you've got to maintain. The Armorer's Kit, uh, which is kind of a combination of different cleaning supplies. They have a whole cleaning kit um, just for, for taking care of your gear, taking care of your, uh, your equipment, your hunting and fishing equipment. Um, you know, maintaining that kind of stuff is just important. And then obviously the scope coat line, they've got scope coats for just about any kind of spotting scope made. They have, <laughs> this is funny, they have a slide scope coat. I mean, there's all kinds of different uh, models of uh, scope coats that you can buy to kind of accessorize to go with your firearm. I've got all kinds of different colors in my safe, but uh, all of my guns, guys, have scope coats, and I highly recommend them. I'm not so much against the flip-up caps and all that stuff because, you know, it's, it's, it's not that it's not important uh, to have the, the flip up cast, but to me, they get kind of in the way, and that's just my thought there. But anyway, that all being said, um, you know, scope coats, uh, you know, great, great to have and easy to remove and, and use in the action, and then easily to replace to um, to basically get back and uh, get back in action and protect your uh, your scopes, your optics. They also have bino bibs, which I've talked about on video a bunch. Uh, protect your binoculars, easily slide on, slide off, really nice and stretchy elastic protective material. Uh, the barrel boots, the slide boots, uh, the bolt boots. Um, I mean, they, these guys have thought about everything. Very much innovative, innovative stuff for the outdoor industry, so that's really cool. Uh, so, and then I also went and visited quite a few companies. Um, I'll run down some of those real quick, the ones that I saw today. Outdoor Edge. Uh, outdoor Edge knives, um, tons of different products there. A lot of field to table stuff. They started coming out with this line of field to table gear last year as far as spatulas with flashlights, spatulas with tongs, spatulas with, you know, all kinds of different, uh, you know, spatula, field to table stuff. I mean, that, that, that comes from cooking your meals and, uh, you know, cutting your meats, um, you know, sharpening your knives, those kind of things. They've really thought through a lot of that stuff. And I got to meet David Block, one of the uh, the owner and founder of Outdoor Edge Knives today, and have a good conversation with him. Um, really high quality. I own the Wildlight series, and I also own. I've talked about this in the podcast when I've done gear reviews. The Wildlight series, and then the um, the uh, the different game processing kits that they have that come in the nice, um, uh, you know. Uh, um, uh, it's just getting late. Uh, the cases, the hard cases that come in, uh, the the double knife set they have, the triple knife sets they have, like the wildlife series. Uh, you can get the wildlife, um, the wild light, I should say. Um, uh, knives that are that are really really easy to use and stay really sharp. Uh, they keep their edge really well. The stainless steel they use. The ones that I have have orange handles. Some of the other uh, knives that I have is like the Razor Light, which has a re replaceable razor uh, inserts that uh, that that really help when it comes to field dressing and those kind of things and cutting up deer meat for camp and uh, all kinds of different stuff like that. Really really innovative stuff. They thought through a lot of these things. Uh, just. Just a big fan of this company. So check out Outdoor Edge um, Knives, and they, they've got some really great stuff there. But like I said, the Wild Light, probably one of the best knife series as far as affordable knife series that I own uh, as far as a combo set of knives uh, that came into uh, came into fruition. I got all of this as a gift. I got uh, the, the, the pair, the Wild Light, and the Wild, the wild Skinner. And the wild caper, and then I got the uh, and, and one set for a gift, and then I got another set for uh, for Christmas last year, um, twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. Uh, sorry, it's getting late. Twenty seventeen. I got those uh, those as a gift from uh, from Kathy at DB Hunting Ranch. We had a, a holiday party, and she gave me the uh, the whole kit of the the Skinner, the caper, and the fillet knife, and the sharpener, and the glove, and all. It comes in a really nice case. You can pack it real easily with you. It's really cool. So I'm um, big fan of Outdoor Edge knives, really cool stuff too. And more like your budget knives. They're not ridiculously expensive. Uh, they, they're really working man prices knives as far as that goes. And that's the thing I've always enjoyed about Outdoor Edge is because they've had really high quality products at a really affordable prices. And I'll always be a budget hunter. Even if I have a ton of money, uh, I'll always be a budget hunter. I just don't believe you should have to pay more than, and nobody wants to pay too much, but I don't believe you should have to pay more to get quality gear. And that's why I'm always on the prowl for the best quality for the best value and that's what i want to bring with you to you on these podcasts so i uh, also saw excalibur crossbows they're coming out with all those that are faster than ever a lot of them 400 you know 400 feet per second plus uh that are 
compact recoil about them is that they've got a lot of different um, things that are that are just really ideal for the outdoorsman. Uh, they've got a cranking system that's proprietary to them for crank cocking your crossbow uh, with a little wrist strap. Uh, Dustin Ellerman and I got to witness that firsthand at Range Day last year and um, you know just see how it all works and I mean how fast these things are. Man, I just never thought I'd see the day that I would find a recurve crossbow to be that fast. I mean, that's scorching, 400 feet per second plus. Uh, the Micro, the Bulldog, I mean, they've got all kinds of different models out there that are just really, really high quality um, and just indestructible. And they've done the Destruction Challenge a couple of times. And the, this past summer, I believe they did the Destruction Challenge 2.0, maybe the summer before that. But, man, it's just sick. Those guys just make absolutely indestructible crossbows. And you, you basically buy one and have it for the rest of your life. If there was ever a drawback on a crossbow purchase for, for an Excalibur, which there's really never one, but it's this that you'd never want to replace it because it's it's so indestructible. You can shoot it over and over again and uh, and not not have any wear and tear uh, destroy the crossbow. It's a nice advantage of having a recurve versus a compound crossbow. But uh, crossbows are huge and they're starting to really gain popularity even more so than they ever were before. And they've been legal in Texas now for about nine years during deer season. You can always use them during archery season, I should say. You can always use them at uh, during gun season. But that was one thing that archers always argued for that were crossbow fanatics that you should have those same there's a whole controversy about that versus compound bow versus recurve versus longbow anyway um but that all being said you know crossbows are here to stay and it's really good to see the innovations that excalibur is making on making those faster uh more durable even more durable than they already are uh more compact and just the innovations and in that technology has just been just been great I uh, also saw my friends over at Skullhooker. I've got some pictures I'll try to put up on the blog uh, for that particular one. And uh, they have a Cape Buffalo hide, or not Cape Buffalo hide, Cape Buffalo head, uh, that was on a Skullhooker today. The, 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 the scroll work that was done on this skull had to have taken hours. I mean, just probably days. And the the... the it was a European mount, which is what skull hookers used for. It's basically for displaying your European mounts, your skull mounts. So it was a Cape Buffalo skull that had all the scroll artwork done. I can't even explain it. It's beautiful. So I'm going to try to put a picture of that up. Uh, also, obviously, elk. Uh, they have the big hooker, the little hooker. They've got all those different ones. They've run with us and done some advertising with us before, so I'm familiar with their with their product. They have the bone bracket for just displaying antlers. The new thing, all right, and I've got pictures of this, the turkey hooker. So they have a they had a, one on display a black turkey hooker and here's the cool thing about it it's a way to display your turkey fan okay so you fan out your turkey after you use the borax and dry out the tail and that kind of stuff and the the, the base of the center of the of the turkey uh, fan uh, and basically the of, of the turkey you know spread it out and everything like that and, uh, and dry it this is a way to display your turkey fan after you have uh, have dried it out and done everything like that and it's a really nice secure system just to to show it. Uh, to put it up on your wall and the cool thing is below it or the underneath the underside of this product is that you've got three different areas to hang turkey beards because sometimes turkeys have more than one beard and uh, so you can hang one in the center or you can hang you know two uh you know two on either side if you have two or you can hang three if you have three i mean whatever the case may be you can display all your turkey beards underneath your fan mail your fan your uh your turkey fan i mean i think that's really really awesome so the turkey hooker is new and it should be shipping they said it should be shipping and they're, they're kind of unveiling it here at ata uh, earlier this month and then here at shot show and they said it should be available later this spring uh right around turkey season start time and end time so it'd be perfect time for you to get one the msrp they think is going to be around 35 bucks uh, plus or minus, don't quote me on that. That's just kind of what they told me today. And uh, really a great way to just show off your, your 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 trophies. I mean, your your turkey fans, your your skulls. I mean, your your antlers, uh, your skull your skull caps. I mean, whatever the case may be, there's some really really good opportunities there to uh, to really elegantly. I don't mean elegant like foo foo. I don't mean elegant like uh, woo woo. I mean elegant like uh, a high quality professional way to showcase your antlers to showcase your skulls for your pigs your bears whatever the case may be 
Um, in Texas, less the bears, but I mean, like I said, in, in uh, you know, your hog skulls, your axis, your fallow, your psycho, your whitetail, whatever, uh, skulls, um, just a great way to display those. And it, the, a lot of the skull hooker, uh, the little hooker and the big hooker have pivots so you can change the direction. And then the other thing, you know, the direction on the wall that your, that your skull, uh, you know, hangs. And the other thing is the trophy tree. And those have been doing very well from what they said. And it's basically a whole, uh, pivotable skull hooker um, uh, series, if you will, from top to bottom of different skull hookers that you can basically put your skulls on and make kind of a tree in the corner of a room of all your skulls. So it's a really neat way to display all of your um, your uh, you know your your trophies. So uh, your euro mounts, as we call them here in Texas. So are uh, there in Texas? I should say now. Oh my goodness, it's getting late, guys. All right, uh, real quick, uh, high score. Don't want to forget about them, and then I will be done soon uh, with this podcast, and I'll let you guys get on to the next one that we do tomorrow with Chester, hopefully. Um, but basically, uh, the other thing that I was I was enjoying the uh, the company of was high score. Ted Williams is a great guy. Great, great guy. And uh, he has got a wide variety of storage accessories for your uh, for your firearms, for your magazines, especially for your double stack and single stack magazines, for your pistols, for your handguns, uh, for your AR-15 magazines, AK-47 magazines. He's got these great storage solutions that are basically modular enough to where they can to be turned into all kinds of different uh, configurations and so if you want to store rifle magazines with handgun magazines if you want to store with um, you know uh, your handguns with your rifles if you want to store your just your handguns I mean there's a ton of different stuff there that you can do um, for that and uh, just he's got a wide variety of things now the other thing that caught my eye last year that Ted had was these uh, were these great little um, uh, t-post hangers that basically hang like a target and they they're they're used with the same steel that they're manufactured with as they manufacture Sherman tanks. So the neat thing about that is that they're going to be indestructible. I mean, for the most part, unless you really shoot the crud out of them, your T posts will get shot up, and your T posts are cheap to replace for the most part than your target system. And all these do is integrate T posts to make kind of an A frame on both sides, and then kind of an area to hang with a T post going uh, over the top, and basically kind of like a swing set, but for a target. And so two T posts on either side to uh, to A frame it, and then uh, to hang your target in the middle. There's another T post in the middle, and then a, a target hangs down. So this is a kit that you just integrate with T post, and it's really a neat idea. Um, there are also some target holders that he has, especially you guys that do your shooting in the outdoors, in the in the in the range, your own range, uh, your 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 back forty, if you will, uh, your friend's range. I mean, whatever, your friend's ranch, wherever you're out there hunting or fishing or or shooting or whatever. Um, basically, you know, you can use these kind of products there, and they're really easy to find. A lot of times, they're uh, affordable. Uh, you know, really high quality accessories, shooting rests. Oh my gosh, the rapid the rapid fire shooting rest that I own. Probably my favorite shooting rest of all times. It's one that's made by High Score. It's H Y S K O R E. Uh, they also make a black rifle rest that accommodates high capacity magazines. They make. Um, you know all kinds of remote shooting rests and that kind of stuff so you can shoot remotely and um and just tie your gun down to the rest and you don't have to pull the trigger to check out trigger right uh that kind of stuff and uh just really really high quality wide variety of things i've been a fan of high score for a while i mentioned them every shot show we do these things at uh because ted just continues to innovate and come up with some really cool packages so new for this year again is the uh the rifle and uh, the rifle magazine the, the the handgun magazine and the uh, handgun storage racks for your safe for your gun room they also have rifle organization racks for your for your gun room uh, or your safe and uh, they easily mount up and then they have obviously the t-post uh, target systems they have the regular um, wooden target systems that are metal that you just put the um, put the target down in the metal uh, holder uh, and they also have uh, the shooting rest so those are the main things that high score has really really easy to find their products and uh, Midway USA, Brownells, um, Bass Pro, uh, not so much Bass Pro, but more Cabela's. Now the Bass Pro and Cabela's have merged. That'll, that'll be interesting to see what they carry. But um, 
you know, all those different stores, your retail stores, they're carried there. You can go to highscore.com. It's H-Y-S-K-O-R-E, highscore.com. Been shooting their stuff for probably about seven or eight years now, so it's pretty cool stuff. All right, last but not least for today's show, and we've been going here for a while, so I'm going to keep this a little bit shorter uh, than our normal podcast since I'm rolling solo here and don't have anybody to talk to besides myself. <laughs> Spot Global Star. Uh, findmespot.com, I believe, is their website. And uh, Spot has run some ads with us before. Fantastic product. They basically make three different types of devices that basically integrate with uh, a tracking system and an SOS system, okay? So if you have a situation that you are in dire need or get lost in the woods, get lost out on the water as far as, uh, you know, out, out offshore, you know, 60 miles offshore, uh, they have a, a, a rescue solution for you. They have a tracking solution for you. They have a cell, satellite cell, not even cell phone, but satellite phone service for you. Uh, all at you know local you know monthly cost uh, low monthly cost for the most part but you know it's it's localized accessories that you carry with you that you use in case of emergency or in case somebody's trying to track you uh, as such as a family member and you get lost and uh, they're they're just really really great opportunities to, uh, to stay safe in the wild I mean Chester Moore our editor in chief who will be with me tomorrow hopefully was just telling me about you know some cases of people they have found lost in the woods and the people that have had beacons on them haven't been lost in the woods for good they haven't died because they've had those kind of backup systems safety systems to uh to keep them um you know to keep them safe and to keep them found uh by the ones that they love uh so having something like that when you go in the deep woods having something like that when you go offshore having something like that when you visit all kinds of you know diverse terrains out in texas and beyond um it's a really good idea to have something like this so check those guys out findmespot.com or just type in spite global stars s-p-o-t global star um into your search engine and you'll see more about the spot system really cool stuff so overall today the innovations i kind of recognized were that um there's just a lot of different things that continue to get better in this industry and that's one thing that i've really been blessed with is to have the opportunity to see these products up close and visit the uh these manufacturers and these uh, company owners and those kind of things that that really you know grind away to get your at you get your get you to spend your dollars with them that's what they're all after at these things this whole show is based around selling product okay and yeah media coverage and everything else like that's great but i mean that's what it's all after is these guys want you to buy their stuff and that's what this is all it's kind of a big sales pitch show so that all being said, I need some more water. Sorry. Uh, that all being said, uh, really, really great uh, to have you guys on this podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching, reading, and listening. If you've not done so, guys, and this is one of your first times to hear the newsletter or to hear the podcast, check out our newsletters. They are free. Tactical Practical Tuesday, Wildlife Wednesday, and the Thursday Texas State of the Outdoor Nation. Uh, you can get all those newsletters at uh, fishgame.com. Sign up on the right hand uh, column. There's a uh, sign-up bar. You can sign up for our Emma newsletter service and uh, get those newsletters. Plus, coming this year, this spring, uh, as part of 2019 coverage, we're doing American Turkey. We're doing uh, Sharks and Surf. We're doing American White, or uh, Whitetail National is what we call that one. And then we're doing Hog Wild. So those are going to be special newsletters themed with those kind of different categories. Turkey, hogs, sharks, um, surf fishing, and... Um, and Whitetail, and uh, we're, we got some great content Chester's been putting together. So I'm looking for sponsors of this show to help sponsor those uh, newsletters and uh, really uh, get you guys some of the best products out there uh, to to purchase from. And if you have any questions, guys, and, and I, I never really do this, but I want to make sure that you guys have a way, because a lot of you guys, and I thank you for this, reach out to me on social media and ask me questions about, hey, do you think this is the best idea uh, do you think this is the best product for this? Do you think this is the best service for this? I mean, I'm here to answer your questions, guys. That's why they call me the Outdoor Success Guy. I'm here to make you successful in the outdoors. And um, one of the things that I really, really love to hear is your feedback. If you like this podcast, if you like listening to this, if you like it, please share it with a friend. Please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel or wherever you're listening to us. Uh, iTunes, uh, Stitcher, um, 
uh, XM radio. I mean, whatever the case may be, uh, we're, we're all over the place. Um, so basically, if you will do this, go to dustinsprojects.com or you can email me through fishgame.com. Uh, dustinsprojects.com or fishgame.com. You can download or just you can download one of my free ebooks over at dustinsprojects.com if you want to do that. And then um, turn around and send me an email, uh, dustin.warnke at gmail.com, uh, W A R N C K E, dustin.warnke at gmail.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I'll be happy to cover something here at Shot Show you want me to cover. Just send me an email. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll hit you up and I'll, uh, I'll even give you a shout on the show if there's something that we can find for you that is of interest and same deal. Chester and I work really close together on this show and, um, you know, he'll do some Facebook lives. We've got some more planned for tomorrow. Uh, and the rest of the time he's here through Thursday and, uh, really, really fun stuff there. I've got some more stuff for the podcast later this week. So what I always joke around, I do, I think I said this at the beginning of the podcast, is I sell all day and I podcast all night. So you're getting an all-nighter podcast from Dustin. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to upload this. It should download at the wee, wee hours in the morning in Texas. And uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow uh, in, in the evening's uh, recording, kind of a summary. And what I like to do is, is just kind of cover the highlights of this show. I know a lot of people don't even care about the SHOT Show. They care more about what's in it for them. And that's what really everybody's about is what's in it for me. So what I'm trying to provide you with these podcast guys is just the best of the outdoors, the best of the hunting, fishing, shooting, outdoor, uh, um, you know, market, and just what what's available to you to help you be a better outdoorsman. That's why I'm the outdoor success guy. I really want you to be successful in what you do. I want it to be affordable. I want it to have uh, value to you. I want it to add, um, you know, durability to your to your uh, product lineup. You know that you got at your at your arsenal, if you will, of guns or gear or whatever the case may be. That's my whole goal with these podcasts is just to help you make those decisions easier and uh, and do what you do better. So. Thank you guys so much again for watching, reading, and listening. I love you all so much for uh, listening to the podcast. Have an awesome day in the outdoors. We'll see you next time.